Well, hello and good late evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here's your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and I'm going to do my best to say to smash the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button, as well as that ding-dong notification bell as we try and stay awake while we do a tier list and then get some sleep before we go to the regional in Boca Raton, Florida. If you're going to be there, be sure to come on up and say hi. I love meeting people in this game, but... I really do appreciate all the support. Keep on climbing on up above that 1200 ladder. I want to talk about hand traps for the June format. I figured this would be a little bit fun to do before I'm going to a regional myself. And I just got back from locals not too long ago. So I definitely know what kind of hand traps uh, you should be playing and should not be playing. So of course, we got the S tier, A tier, B tier, and C tier. I decided to change it up a little bit instead of having like the it's amazing tier and stuff like that. Figured it'd be easier this way for the hand traps. And of course, we have the patented booty, booty, butt cheek category, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, yeah, we're going to just go ahead and dive on into this here. Starting off with uh, how the mighty have fallen. I'm putting this into C tier. Now, of course, with my dog water luck in this game, as I've talked about before, I have terrible luck in this game. I got hit with the fucking one of gamma against dragon link today in round fucking four. Like, it's just one of those things. Gamma's still an amazing card, but Jesus, it's sacky as fuck at a one of. It's similar to Max C in the sense of if it's at one, it's super sacky, and if it's at three, it's balanced, debatably. So, yeah, like, if you're gonna play Gamma, good for you, like, good luck, but this card is so fucking sacky, and it's not sacky in, like, a good way, like S tier. It's just C tier, like, if you pull it off, it's cute, but it, it's really not all that good anymore. Let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Uh, no one's playing fucking Token Collector anymore. Sword Soul is not an issue. Um, yeah, we, we need to talk about this here. So Kurakara is not in here. If it was, I would be tying this at the hip with Nibiru. You have to, in some way, shape, or form, be playing three Nibiru and or three Kurakara. You don't really need to play both. I mean, you can if you really want to. Either in your main or in your side. Just because of the fact that those cards are so damn good. Buy steals by extension are also good, but I would put buy steals in the A tier. They're just not on this tier list. Because not every deck can really abuse buy steals all that well. And so Nibiru is like the 100% card. Any deck can play it. And it, it's it's just amazing at cracking boards. Like especially with Super Heavy not having the Samurai Scarecrow uh, link. They have to commit to that fifth summon more often and not have a negate. So they're much more susceptible to Nibiru. You know, if you look at the end of last format, not a lot of people were really singing the praises of Nibiru. But now, they're singing the praises of Nibiru again. And for good reason. The card's amazing. So, a lot of people are saying this is falling out of favor because the Super Heavy Samurai Link is now banned. So Droll's not as good. And to that I say, bro, have you seen Purely? Like, yeah, Purely is kind of like a tier 2 to roguish deck. Even the Sprite Purely engine. With the Sprite engine, I should say. But Droll is still an amazing card. I mean, if you're not at least side-decking it, I think there might be something wrong because it just seems so good. I mean, yeah, like a local metagame is going to be a little bit different and more condensed, you know, hence why we call it locals. But if you're going to a regional or a YCS or something, I still feel like there's that argument to be made that playing Droll is still a really good idea, and I don't think anyone would really make fun of you for playing Droll because, I mean, it is a damn good card. And the cards that just keep on giving, Ash and D-Shifter, I feel like even five years from now, Ash is going to be a good card. Like, it's just that great of a hand trap. It covers so much ground. D-Shifter, of course, this this just auto-kills purely, any version of purely. I got shiftered today, what, round one? Yeah, round one, game one, my opponent fucking shifted me. They were playing cash tier, and I'm like, yeah, this turns off my angler. Like, it, it, was, it was really bad. Uh, Shifter really kills decks like purely... Super Heavy Samurai, a lot of decks, really. I mean, Shifter's just fantastic, and Ash, of course, being more of a Rogue Buster card, but still in tandem with other hand traps, it's absolutely fantastic. Same with Imperm. You, you put this and Ash together, like, th these cards are just fantastic. Imperm being able to play around Shifter, you don't have to worry about something like Valor. Uh, like, it, it's, it's just so good. You don't have to ditch it to Grave. Doesn't trigger Triple Tactics Talent, because obviously it's not a monster. It's just a fantastic card. Speaking of which, I feel like Valor goes in the C tier. Valor is not what it used to be anymore. Like, Imperm has just totally power corrupt effect Valor. With D Shifter running around, I feel like Valor will forever just be more of like a niche tech card that not a lot of people will play. Um, 
Chaos Hunter is not a fucking hand trap. It's booty booty butt cheeks. Spooky Dogwood is only good in time, so we're going to put it here in the C tier. Moolet Chill I'm also going to put in the C tier, um, because, like, yeah, if they send the card off, they take burn damage, but, again, it's more niche. Um, I, te I tested it in Sprite purely before. I didn't really care for it, but it's something that you can at least consider. Winter Cherries is only good in mirror matches. This card's booty booty butt cheeks. No material. No one's playing fucking no material. If you're playing Lancia to stop the shifter, I guess. I mean, I I feel like if you lose the stuff that banishes like shifter or even like fucking evenly match, I feel like there may be other cards that are better at playing. I was going to like maybe put this in C tier, but I just don't feel like it's even worthy of that. I feel like Lancia has just really fallen off. And if your deck's losing to stuff like evenly, I feel like that's just an issue with the deck. You know, most decks, you could potentially argue, can play, a, not a round shifter, but can kind of still make a board somewhat through a shifter. But, I mean, shifter is like a fucking god card. Like, it's just insane. Uh, Ghost Bell is actually going to be our one thing here in B tier. It's not amazing, but it's also not terrible. I feel like it just fills that niche, especially for, like, the side deck where you could play, like, two to three copies of it and get away with it that like it's it's good like it's amazing against branded it's okay against tier and it's i guess decent against buy steals maybe question mark but i i just don't see where it's all that good besides that same goes for ghost ogre what are you ghost ogring like the wakushi and super heavy samurai i guess uh my friend purely you can use ghost ogre on it unless they have happy memory to protect it from destruction ghost ogre is uh <clears throat> Not what it was near the end of last format. It's just not as good as it used to be. <laughs> no one's playing fucking Phantom Aze. Skullmeister, if this was last format, I'd put this in C tier, but no, Skullmeister is just terrible now. <sighs> I'm going to put DD Crow in the B tier. It's really good against Purely because you can banish the quick play spells out of their grave. But other than that, again, it just fills that niche role that I feel like other cards do better, like whether it's Imperm, Shifter, what have you. Orange Light is also C tier. Like, okay, cool. If you have other fairies, it's great. If not, it's only a two. And then no one's playing a fucking Ally of Justice Catastrophe. Like, that. Uh, no, that, that card's garbage now. So, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Like I said, I just take someone else's tier list because I don't know how to do this shit. And it's also after midnight and I'm really tired and I want to go to bed. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.